Hello and welcome to Poland Daily Travel. I'm Will Richardson. In the next few episodes, we're going to take you on a journey north from Warsaw. We'll be stopping at the legendary Battle of Grunwald Battlefield. This battle signified one of the most important moments in Polish history. From there, we'll head north toward the coast to stop at a small village called Kadyny. It was there that Kaiser Wilhelm had his summer palace. Today, it's a pleasant spa hotel with stables and a ceramics factory. Not to forget a very pleasant Polish-style restaurant. From Kadyny, we head to Gdansk and then make a sharp right and head toward the Baltic coast and the village of Krynica Morska. From here, it's only a matter of kilometers until you reach the Russian enclave of Kaliningrad. With a pause to take in the Vistula Lagoon, we head back toward the Tri-City area. That's Gdansk, Sopot, and Gdynia. From there, we head to the Hell Peninsula. This is a truly eye-catching area. The peninsula juts out into the Gdansk Bay. The coast here is 20 miles long with white beaches, and the beautiful Baltic Sea. On the way back to Warsaw, we stop at the ancient village and now town of Chev, which is situated on the Vistula River. There's a bike path from here that runs all the way to Romania, they say. Haven't tried it myself yet, but sounds adventurous. So there we are, a nice three or four day trip for you when you come to Poland. Poland daily travel, as the Beach Boys say, we get around. Thanks for watching. Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Poland Daily Travel. The large red cylindrical object you see behind me, yes, that's a lighthouse and that's the lighthouse specifically at Krynica Morska. Krynica Morska, it's, uh, it's the largest town, about a thousand and a half people, 1500 people on the, uh, on the spit of land that sticks out uh, north of the Vistula Lagoon and right beside uh, the Baltic Sea. So just if you go right over there, you'll see the uh, Baltic Sea. If you go right up the hill and go down the other side, you will be in the sea. If you go that way, you'll be in the Vistula uh, Spit and you can see it's a beautiful view. We'll get, a, we'll get a shot of that for you across where we were in the last episode. So we've come across that, come all the way around toward Gdansk and come back up the Spit about 60 kilometers, and here we are. Uh, if we continue that way, if we continue just that direction, we will come to the Russian border in uh, less than 20 kilometers, I would think. Um, here, uh, beside this, 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 well, I can tell you that, that this uh, lighthouse, just to get this out of the way, details about the lighthouse, it was destroyed in World War II by the retreating Germans. They mined it and then blew it up. and they waited, the Russians were hot on their heels. And this cemetery, there's a little cemetery and you can see a Russian soldier there. Uh, this cemetery is dedicated to the soldiers who were blown up uh, when, uh, when the Germans uh, destroyed, destroyed the lighthouse. So it's been rebuilt, obviously. And this is a, a very good point to have a lighthouse because this bit of land is, uh, is sticking out and it's quite low to the ground. Although where we are right now is pretty hilly, but generally it's quite low. I guess they put it here because this is a good place to put the lighthouse, the one, uh, one hill, hilly place you have. Um, what does Krenica mean? Krenica means, it's an old word that means spring, like spa. Krenica, Morska. Morska means sea, so it's a, a spa by the sea or a spring by the sea. And uh, it's a popular holiday destination in the summer, I suppose, if you come here in the winter, you would find a lot of solitude because I don't imagine uh, a lot of people would come here in the winter. The Baltic is quite cold in the winter, you see. Even right now, the water can be a bit challenging uh, without a wetsuit. But for the brave of heart, take a jump in and it's, it's beautiful, clean water if you get away from, uh, for the, well, this is the Gdansk Bay, the edge of it here. If you get away from that and go out uh, on the Baltic proper. Beautiful beaches, some of the most beautiful beaches in Europe, almost pristine, and the water is very pleasant. Indeed, it's very nice. Uh, and I can tell you, it's very refreshing. So anyway, we're in Krynica Morska, and uh, we will make our way uh, and show you a little bit more of this destination uh, before we make our way towards the Tri-Cities and Gdansk. Okay, so there you are. See you after the bumper.
Hello, everybody. Here we go. I promised you many things over all the 500 or so episodes of Poland Daily that we've done over the last year and a half or so. But one thing, I've given you rivers, I've given you lakes, I've given you streams, I've given you everything. But we have yet to give you one body of water which is unmistakably connected with Poland, with this part of the world, particularly with Gdansk, which is just to this direction about, uh, I don't know, 20 kilometers. If you wanted to go to the Hell Peninsula, which is a similar spit of land sticking out uh, over the left-hand side of Gdansk's Bay, uh, you would have to go about 40 kilometers to go to the Hell Peninsula. To drive around to it takes considerably longer. It's almost 100 uh, kilometers to go all the way around um, to the end of the Hell Peninsula. But here we are. And, uh, well, feast your eyes on the majestic Baltic Sea, home of the Hanseatic ports, the great cities of the past, Tallinn and Riga and Danzig or Gdansk and Hamburg and uh, Stockholm and Helsinki and so forth. All those great cities uh, of the Hanseatic League were based on this sea, the Baltic Sea, which extends this direction all the way to St. Petersburg, past Finland, uh, past, uh, past Lithuania and the Baltic states, aptly named, all the way to the edge of Russia and St. Petersburg. And this way stretches all the way to the North Sea, that's past Denmark and Norway. This was the land the Sea of the Vikings, the sea that the Vikings controlled for a very, very long time. And uh, it was really their back garden. Over there is Scandinavia. And not just Scandinavia, but uh, the, uh, the Norse countries, if you will, because Finland's not part of Scandinavia. So here we are. We finally made it. We finally made it to the Baltic Sea. And this is a crucial part of Poland, uh, extending as it does from, well, just over here, Kaliningrad, all the way to uh, Świnoujście and Szczecin area, Mienzes Droja, uh, famous spa city. Yes, so there you are, the Baltic Sea. Feast your eyes, Poland Daily Travel. I'm Will Richardson. Thanks for watching. See you on the next episode.